When Teresa Terry posts something on Facebook, it's patriotic pride and gratitude, positive thoughts, or memes that make you giggle. Most of her posts are photos guaranteed to make you smile and warm your heart. They feature a 130-pound, 16-month-old boy Teresa calls her handsome pants, Fluffalo, and Mr. Man. He's Rowan, Rowan the Protector. Maybe you haven't heard of him. The lovable Irish wolfhound is a pretty big deal. He has his own Instagram account. And everybody loves my dog. I, I mean, I love my dog, so I'm constantly sharing him. And I know that people enjoy seeing him, but I think he's awesome. And he makes me laugh and smile every day. Scrolling through her newsfeed on Facebook in mid-March, Teresa noticed posts about COVID-19 that were less than awesome. You know, it wasn't even so much their concern for themselves or their fellow man. It was, you know, where people are being stupid and people are being irresponsible and I can't leave my house and they're closing this, they're closing that. Um, this is ridiculous. It was, it was all of that stuff. Um, and so much of that is out of our control. We have zero control over so much in our life. So Teresa began posting her own thought-provoking, meaningful messages. The life is good post of the day. Many include Rowan and his perspective on the world. He's even contracted the virus, Go Rowan virus, with symptoms that include excessive snuggling, digging, and awesomeness. Teresa's been medicating him with peanut butter. Her Facebook posts are therapeutic for her friends, giving them another reason to smile but also to just notice. The pandemic is happening and we can only control it to the certain point where we can stay in our houses, right? But I can take my dog for a walk and I can choose to notice the birds singing. Um, birds singing are out of my control. I can choose to notice the leaves melting into the snow. That's out of my control, but it's a cool thing. I can notice the flowers coming up through the snow or through the dirt. Um, so many of those little things that are out of our control, but they're the good things in life. And that's just what I try to focus on. Little things that are really big things we too often take for granted. What's happening is we're getting food fed the negative. So maybe it is slowing down and doing your own research to find the little things, the good little things in life that matter. Teresa's Life is Good post of the day has her thinking about her parents, who both taught her to be, as she says, a good human. She lost both of them to cancer, her mom in 2007 and her dad in 2018. My dad was always just very proud of us. And we didn't do anything special. And so I always said, Dad, I said, well, I said, we are, we're a product of you. You know, you, you did this. Um, and you, you set the example, you set the bar for us, and he said, I, didn't, I never did anything special, I just tried to be a good person. That's what I try to do, just, just be, a good, good, be a good human, especially in times like this. There's enough crap up there, and we don't need to, um, I mean, finger pointing in a time like this does nothing. As she cherishes and clings to her happy memories, Teresa continues to notice the best life has to offer now, too, in the midst of a global pandemic. I've just been really blessed, and I, I had a boxer for eight years prior to Rowan, and he passed away unexpectedly, and I was not planning on getting that dog, and he just kind of fell into my lap. Um, and then Duke got sick, and a week later was gone. We, he ended up, um, he had cancer, and we didn't know it. Um, started having seizures and passed. Teresa says Duke was the best dog and wonders now how she could be so lucky to have two best dogs. She says Rowan is good for her. He forces me to go outside at least once or twice a day for a walk and he gives me something to focus on and take care of um, and take my mind off of all the babbles that people are throwing out there. Whatever it is that can help each one of us see that life is good, it pays to notice. Dogs for me are just very calming. Um, they are the definition of uh, unconditional love. They, they just give you that unconditional love when you don't know you even need it. They're always there for you. So at a time like this when people are stressing, they're, they're just a calming nature. Well, 
Rowan, my dog anyway, yeah. is a very, uh, very calming force in my life.